In a complicated legal situation and flooded with a sea of information, Angelina Jolie, the talented and beautiful woman of the Hollywood entertainment industry, marked her appearance with a fiery, demanding speech. Transparency and fairness. The hot spot of controversy is the child custody case between Angelina Jolie and her ex-husband, actor Brad Pitt. Once again, Angelina Jolie's name emerged in a turbulent legal battle, when Angelina Jolie criticized the judge assigned to this case for corruption. According to the actress, the judge favored and favored her ex-lover, causing the rights of Angelina Jolie and her children to be unfairly ignored. It was Angelina Jolie's strong opposition that defeated all barriers, bringing this legal battle to a new level, where the public is waiting for a fiery confrontation between two big Hollywood stars. Hot content details and the latest information about this war will be revealed in the main content. Please continue to follow us to learn more about how this situation is unfolding. Most recently, Angelina Jolie accused the judge overseeing her child custody case of being biased and favoring ex-husband Brad Pitt, and now the Maleficent actress is using her experience to push the law checks, corrupt court officials. In a two-page letter dated September 29 and obtained by The Post, the actress and former Goodwill ambassador called on California Governor Gavin Newsom to support Peaky's Law, which would require domestic violence training. Educate judges, mediators, and other court professionals about the consequences of child abuse and trauma. One beautiful night in Los Angeles on November 5, 2015, the entertainment world lit up as famous stars Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt walked the red carpet at the AFI Fest 2015 opening night premiere to welcome the film. By the sea, this famous couple was once one of Hollywood's perfect couples, and any appearance of them caused a stir in the media. But after their sparkling years, their love affair turned into a long custody battle, pushing them into the cycle of the legal system. Los Angeles private judge John W. Oderkirk became the overseer of this fight, and the decision brought much controversy and turmoil into their lives. A source close to Angelina Jolie revealed to The Post that the outstanding actress is making tireless efforts to ban this practice, especially after the injuries she suffered under the supervision of Judge John W. Oderkirk. The family war left its mark not only on them but also on their children, as they had to go through moments of hardship and domestic violence. A source close to Angelina Jolie shared with The Post about this tense legal battle, emphasizing that, this is her private matter and for good reason. This statement honors the respect and privacy of the famous actress, who had to go through many incidents during this confrontation. The legal war began after Los Angeles Judge John W. Oderkirk was appointed to oversee the resolution of the custody battle between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Judge Oderkirk not only faces suspicions of bias but also faces serious disputes regarding secret financial transactions and corruption involving Brad Pitt's team. In addition, this judge was also questioned about judicial ethics in Angelina Jolie's family case. The refusal to consider evidence of domestic abuse has increased tension and controversy in this fight. Los Angeles Judge John W. Oderkirk, who witnessed both the wedding and then the divorce of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, is at the center of a tense confrontation in the custody battle. There, he is a retired private judge, but his name is still closely linked to the lives of this famous couple. According to a source close to Angelina Jolie, her concern over the fact that Oderkirk once officiated their wedding and subsequent custody battle is not surprising. Their entire family was a victim of system failure, the source said. She fought privately for her family and publicly for other families for many years. This shows Angelina Jolie's commitment to protecting the rights of her children and other families in this legal war. However, sources close to Brad Pitt have a different opinion. They claim that Angelina Jolie is using common tactics to distort the truth and damage the reputation of Judge Oderkirk as well as other experts who testified against the actress. The confrontation between the two sides has caused much controversy and confusion in this legal war. In May 2021, Judge Oderkirk ruled that the couple maintained 50-50 custody, a decision that Angelina Jolie challenged. On February 25, 2019 in New York City, Angelina Jolie appeared at a special screening of the film, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, with her six children, Knox Leon Jolie Pitt, Vivian Marshalline Jolie Pitt, Paxton Jolie Pitt, Shiloh Nouvelle Jolie Pitt, Zahara Marley Jolie Pitt, and Maddox Shivan Jolie Pitt. Their presence at this event creates a happy and warm picture of the famous family. Although Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt went through a difficult divorce, they always put their children's interests first. This was shown through the arduous and complicated custody battle, which the host constantly updated the audience. One of the important steps in this fight was when Angelina Jolie wrote a two-page letter to California Governor Gavin Newsom, asking him to support Senate Bill 331, also known as, the Peaky. This is an important proposal that requires domestic violence training for judges and court officials, to ensure the rights of families and children. 
the confrontation over child custody is not only a legal case but also a battle about ideals and children's rights. Angelina Jolie objected to the judge's decision to temporarily retain custody of her children and filed a petition with the Court of Appeals asking Judge John W. Oderkirk to be removed from the case. The Court of Appeals ruled in July 2021 that Oderkirk should be removed from the case because he did not fully disclose his business relationship with Brad Pitt's lawyer. Sources close to Brad Pitt's legal team have responded to the legal battle and confrontation with Angelina Jolie. According to these sources, they expressed dissatisfaction with the way Angelina Jolie treated Judge Oderkirk in the circumstances of the case. According to them, Judge Oderkirk doesn't do business with anyone, and this implies that he is not dependent on any side in this legal war. They also emphasized that like other private judges, he had accepted invitations to participate in other cases, and he had disclosed this relationship. This shows that Judge Oderkirk adhered to the principles of justice and created transparency in his work. They also expressed disappointment at the way Angelina Jolie used the media and the public to express her views and distort information, similar to the way former President Donald Trump did. At the same time, they claim that this has caused damage to innocent third parties who are simply doing their jobs in this legal war. The controversy and contradictions in this legal war continue to be complicated and attract the attention of the public and media. Angelina Jolie's long-running custody battle has seen continued efforts to protect her children's rights after a 2016 incident marked the breakup of the famous family. That incident created major challenges in their legal battle and personal life, making Angelina Jolie determined not to let anything affect her custody rights and family relationships. During the legal battle between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, a source close to Jolie expressed that the judge's decision not to have her child testify should not happen to other children, and that the Peaky Law will ensure this right is protected. The source also emphasized that Brad Pitt has never denied his abusive behavior and that new training for judges is absolutely necessary. Sources close to Brad Pitt have said the actor falsely admitted to the plane crash, but no charges have been filed against him. They also mentioned that the FBI looked into this case and decided not to charge Brad Pitt. In the custody case, FBI reports were presented as evidence and the judge decided to grant 50-50 custody to both sides. The legal war between these two stars is not over, and they continue to fight over the French vineyard they once shared. A hearing in the civil case is scheduled to take place in Los Angeles this week, another dramatic chapter in this complicated story.